All right, so the next part that we're going to work on uh, is actually planning out how we're going to structure the tables for the fictitious uh, example library that we came up with, which was Bubba's Library. Okay, so what we want to have for Bubba's Library is we want to have a place to store uh, information about the books. We also want to have a place to store information about the uh, reviewers. And then we also want to have a place to store information about uh, the actual review itself, okay? So what, what we're talking about for that is actually going to be three tables, okay? So we've got table one, table two, and then table three, okay? Table one, we'll call it the, uh, the books table. All right, table two, we'll call it the review -er, reviewer table. And table three will actually be the reviews. Okay? All right. Now, the reason that we're breaking this up into three separate tables is so that we can have normalized information, so that we can have uh, information be put down once and it be as unique as possible. We're not having to duplicate things over and over again. Okay? So in the books table, um, the, the columns that we're going to have for this one. Of course, we always want to have an ID. We want to start out with an ID. And then this will be a unique auto-incremented ID. Okay. The next thing that we'll have in here probably would just be something as simple as um, book title. Okay. That's a column we can have. Uh, another column we can have is author. And another column that we can have is going to be pub date. Okay? Now, so that's just our books table. The next table that we'll have uh, is going to be a, an even simpler table. Okay? Uh, it's just going to consist of two columns. One will be the ID. We always have IDs in our table, so this will be the unique auto-incremented ID for this table. And then we'll just have the name of the reviewer. Okay? reviewer name. Okay? So I've got a books table, a reviewer table. Now we need to kind of pull these things together. We need to have the reviews reflect uh, book information and they need to actually reflect the name of the reviewer as well. Okay? So just like the other tables, uh, the first column we're going to have is the ID column all, everything's got an ID, okay? Um, another thing that we're going to want to put in here uh, is the, um, the actual review itself. So we'll call this review, okay? This will be kind of a big text area where, where the review can be written about the book, okay? The next thing we're going to want to pull in is going to be uh, the book. Now what we can do here is just say book ID, okay? Uh, so we'll pull in from this books table the book ID and that'll give us book title, author, and pub date, okay? Alright, and then another column we're going to want to have is the reviewer ID. So reviewer ID. That doesn't, it's kind of hard to read, but that's reviewer ID, okay? Um, and a a third and final, not third, one, two, three, four, five. A fifth and final column that we're going to want to have in this reviews table is basically um, the date, the date for the review. Okay, we'll just say date for review. Now remember, I had I said we were going to have some logic in that web page that will only give us a review that has a date that's within seven days, okay? Uh, so after it turns seven days old, uh, basically on that eighth day, it doesn't show up on the website anymore. So that date is an important column to have as well. All right, now, uh, let's go ahead and link up the tables that we have so far. Okay, so in this a reviews table, uh, we've got ID and review, those are unique values to the, each row. Uh, the book ID, 
uh, where do you think we'll pull that from? The book ID, we're actually going to pull from this table right here. So I'm going to draw a little line from book ID over to ID. Okay? So it's actually going to go this way. Alright, so the book ID uh, gets pulled from the books table and it gets inserted here to let us know what book is actually being reviewed. Okay? Alright, the next thing that we're going to pull in uh, is going to be the reviewer ID. Okay? So the reviewer ID, it gets pulled in and it gets inserted here. Alright? So you've got uh, the book referenced here and it gives you all that info. And you've got the reviewer ID reference from here, and that gives you all that info. Basically, it gives you the reviewer's name. And then the, the last bit of information here is going to be the date uh, on which you want this thing to, to help you gauge when you want it to expire, basically. Okay? And that's unique to this row as well. What we want to have is we want to have as, as much unique information as possible. All right. Now, this is a minimum requirement for this scenario. All right? So... Uh, this would be the minimum requirement that I would have for you to you'd create three tables and then you'd, you'd have two relationships uh, that would help you pull that information together, okay? Now, some of you may be thinking, well, Clay, you know, this author concept right here, you know, you, you're probably going to reuse author, actually, as you're reviewing books because... Uh, you may you may find several books by the same author that you like and that you want to review uh, for Bubba's library site, and that's true. So, uh, kind of, um, I guess, being more detailed, more diligent, another thing you could do is instead of actually listing the author out, first name, last name, in this uh, cell right here, in this column right here, you could actually create a fourth table, We'll call it the author table, okay? And it's going to have ID, right? And then author, author name. All right? And then what you would do here is you would take the information, take this ID, and you would insert it in here, okay? So what that means is that uh, every time you reference an author, in your books table, you're actually pulling it from another table. So you're just putting in the ID here, and then you're deriving the author's name via a relationship. Okay, that would make that even more normalized, even more uh, efficient. Okay, all right. So in a nutshell, this would this kind of drawing right here. You could do this drawing on paper. You could do this drawing in Word or Visio or whatever program you want to use to draw things out with. Um, but basically, I just want to see your tables and see how you're going to relate them together. Okay?